This is Stephanie from Stephanie B Creativity. And I just got the replacement gear set from Grumpy Head uh, Designs. And this is a kit to fix my Centro. Now, I have been having problems with my little Centro 22. And I can't even you know, run anything on it. So I got a new gear set and I'm really looking forward to having a, po a positive experience here. I was going to try running some yarn through my, my machine, but uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen. What I'm going to do is take this apart. There's a button right here that holds the handle on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to take my little knobby off here. And now, so I've got the handle off, but you've got to take the, the whole thing apart to get to, to your gears. So I'm going to go ahead and take all the screws off and just stack them up right here. So right here is where that right here is where that gear is. And oh my gosh. There's no shaft on this. So that's the reason why this thing like falls all over the place. So Aaron at Grumpy Head does these pieces on his 3D printer. So I'm looking at that. So the pieces that he sent are a 3D printed with a metal shaft right here that you are, that the long screw is going to go through the handle and through this and then link right into here. And he sends a hex wrench to be able to attach that together, taking that piece off. So I need to take this little guy off. One thing that would be, would be kind of interesting to see would be a, you know, even just a basic step one, step two, step three. I'm pretty good with stuff like this, so I'm not too worried about putting it back together. Getting the handle on. The handle is really tricky. It's super, super tight. And what I had to do was put the handle into it, making sure that I was matched up. I got it partway pushed in with my hand and then I took it and set it straight down on the table and put my hand on top and just went push and it snapped right into place. So that worked. Then all I did was drop the screw that came with it into the handle, into the gear shaft and turn the little hex wrench. Now this handle is completely attached. All of the pegs are back in place. Screwing that little collar back in. I've only pulled this apart three times because I keep uh, lifting it up by the wrong part. And then you have to pull all, then you have to pull the collar out so you can put the pegs back on. Make sure that's seated in place. All of the pegs are going up and down. Now I'm going to put this piece on here. This does sit on top of the gear ring. I contacted Aaron and asked, and he said that's where it goes. The little guide ring needs to be seated properly. 
Okay, so that, ah, that's, that's why. So when you're putting this back on, look at this. You have to make sure that the little teeth are going down those shafts. So you see how that one right there, it was sitting off to the side and it wasn't sliding on properly. And this has to go on before I can close the machine together. This is a process and it's something that you can't go into it if you're tired or if you're frustrated. So just take your time and breathe. I'm saying that mostly for myself. I need to take my time and breathe. I put a little mark where number one peg is. I'm lining it up gently, gently, gently. Okay, there we go. So this has to come all the way down over the white collar. If it doesn't, you're going to end up with it binding and not working. So right now, that's awesome. I have to lift up the whole unit ever so slightly to get my get my gear handle back in there. And then I'm going to make sure that I've got all of the little points where I can see them right here. There we go. So now we know that the handle is moving. Now, I, I don't have any pressure on it right now, so I, it's going to bounce around. Just make sure it's seated down. Let's get the ring collar on. Let's put the keeper back on to keep the handle in place. Nothing like make nothing like putting something together and having extra pieces left over at the end. Now I've got the keeper to hold the handle in place. All right, let's see if I can get the handle to line up where it's supposed to go. I just don't want it all popping apart on me. That's there, that's there, the handle is there. This is really snug with that on there. We'll see. Okay, future Stephanie here. I need to tell you that I just had some messages with Aaron from Grumpy Head Design and he has informed me that the gasket ring is a single piece now and not the two pieces with the little puzzle clips. So it is going to be way easier to install. You don't have to worry about figuring out how to get it to stay in place while you're getting the uh, getting the whole unit put back together again. So don't be dissuaded by what you saw me go through here because the design has already been updated. Always stay in contact with the people who are making the things that we're using, especially the small um, cottage businesses that we're, that we're buying from because we want them to be successful because they want us to be successful. So back to the video, we're going to test some yarn in the newly updated machine. And I'm so excited because yeah, guys, 
this is a game changer. It totally makes sense to do this to your Centro 22 machines because it gives them new life. Wow. This is just Red Heart Super Saver yarn. It does feel a lot more solid now. There's a lot more tension. I think having that extra ring in there is going to make a huge difference. Put that into the... Okay, that's doing pretty good. So what I'm doing is I'm applying more tension because I could never run this with any tension before. Okay, and then with no tension. It's a lot quieter with no tension. Put medium tension on it. And then run it off. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, and you can see where I was running um, medium tension, tight tension, no tension, medium tension, no tension. Wow. But boy. It's tight. All right, trying this big twist. It's a, it actually is a pretty fine yarn. Even though it's worsted, it's a pretty fine worsted. But I've never had the Centro run like this. It is amazeballs. And definitely attach it to something that you can attach to your table so you don't have to hold on to it and crank because with this, being um, so much tighter, you wouldn't be able to crank this very well. So I definitely, I mean, one-handed, cranking this baby, one-handed. And I was never able to run this under any tension before. Now, oh my gosh. Let's just run this off. And look at that. No drop stitches, no skip stitches, no tuck stitches. That is awesome. I want to try a fuzzy yarn. So this is a, this is the Red Heart Super Saver Brushed. And I don't even care if I'm starting it, you know, at the beginning or the end on the rounds. I just want to test. But yeah, this definitely. Is tight. But oh, so smooth. Wow. Okay, I'll just. I'll just put this on the tightest spot right there. One-handed. It's running under tension. You can tell because this little thing is like pulled up a little bit. I could move it over, move it up one. Let's see. And look at that. Remember that the brushed yarns, the fuzzy all goes to the inside. So you've got that soft brushed 
look there. Look at those that stitch definition. Oh my gosh. That one and that one and that one. I can do things now. I can use my little Centro again. And even though I have an Addy 22, I really like the little Centro. And with this upgrade, with the Grumpy Head Designs gear handle upgrade, you can actually use your little Centro and it will still cost you about one third of the Addy. The Addy tends to run in the 120 to 150 range for the Addy 22 pin. This little guy was 30 bucks plus the $25 of the gear handle upgrade. Totally worth it. Check out the Grumpy Head designs down below in the information box. And I am really excited to start making some things here. I hope you enjoyed this. It was not quick. I did... I had some frustrations and I shared those frustrations with you, but you know what? It's worth it in the end. So check it out. If you have a little Centro 22 and it's sitting on a shelf because it stopped working like mine did, 25 bucks and I've got a working machine again. Yay! Take care guys. Remember, do something creative, take care of yourself and be kind out there. I'll see you soon. Bye.